Good morning, and this is Catriona, aka Cat here. And somebody asked me yesterday, how is it that you can make a square basket from the same rope coil basket technique? Now, I think when they said Indian basket weaving, somebody also asked me this. They meant like American Indian baskets. I can't be sure. It could be American Indian or it can be East Indians. I don't have a, a clue. I've known this since I was a kid and it's a technique that they teach us in school. Now, you notice that this this rope is a synthetic fiber. You can see that it looks kind of plastic. Uh, you can use pretty much any type of rope for this. In this case, I might wrap it with some wire just to hold the phrase together for a sec. It doesn't matter what type of wire, so no need to ask that question. And so when I'm holding it, I'll just, I'll just cut off the ends with the scissors. Just cut off the ends with the scissors. Ta-da! Goodbye. And then I'll take a lighter or a match or something and I'll just burn the edges. I really want, I don't want it to flare out too much because I noticed that little piece there was flaring out. So maybe I might want to push my my thing out up a little bit, my wire up. And I, I'm trying to keep them as tight as possible. I, want, I don't want them to fray and I don't want them to come out. So I have both ends done like that. And once you're done with that, you can just take off the wire and you have a nice neat piece of rope ta-da boom nice nice and neat that's very neat okay so of course you're gonna need yarn doesn't matter what type of yarn really doesn't matter what type of yarn and you're gonna need to cut about four feet of yarn the first time okay so you're gonna cut about four feet of yarn so you need a scissors you need a big needle with a big eye check it out that needle has a very big eye and so I'm cutting about four feet of yarn. You need a rope, you need yarn, you need a needle with a big eye and a scissors. Now even if the yarn is still too big you can always twirl it like this. Kind of give it a little moisture, you gotta lick it before you stick it. <laughs> anyway, and just poke it through the hole. It'll go eventually. So ba -boom, boom, there you go. I have the needle threaded and I don't want to put both ends together. You're not putting both ends of the yarn together. What you're going to be doing is just leaving one end free. So one end is longer than the other one. I'm going to take up one of the ends of the ropes. And this rope is not very long, so I'm going to have to make this tutorial very quick. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the rope in your left hand and it has to be pointing in the towards the right direction. You take the yarn in the right hand and it has to be pointing towards the left direction. So they're going to overlap each other like that. So, boom. Now you got to hold it as close to the tip as possible. You hold the, the yarn as close to the, the burnt tip as possible. And what you're going to do is you're going to spin in that direction away from yourself. So you're going around the rope away from yourself in a, what is that, clockwise motion. And as you do that, you want to push the yarn closer to the tip so that, of course, that burnt up ratchet ass edge is <laughs> not showing. So you got to wrap it and wrap it and wrap it. And notice while you're wrapping, this string here is staying under what you're wrapping. It's not going like this. It's not going like that. I shouldn't see any penises sticking up in the air, and I'm sorry for that reference. But that's the only thing I could think of at that point. <laughs> yes, anyway. And you're going to ask me, but when should they stop wrapping? I'm wrapping, I'm wrapping, I'm wrapping, I'm wrapping. I'm so annoying. I know. Anyway. So what I'm going to do now is just bend it to see if I can actually roll it in on itself. So I'm going to try to bend it to see if I can roll it in like a cinnamon roll. So nope, I can't do it quite yet. So I need to make it as long as like, so it can be like around here so. So I roll it and the yarn has to kind of, the, the roll has to overlap itself a little bit. So I need to wrap that maybe about an inch more. I can still do it. So I'm rolling it in. 
Okay. So there you go. I'm, I've rolled it in on itself. So now the, ye the yellow string on this coil is overlapping this part. Now here's the tricky part. You have to hold it in on itself as tight as possible. So notice I'm holding it like I'm pinching the cinnamon roll, a tiny little cinnamon roll in between my thumb and index finger. So now what I'm going to do from here is you notice that the little string is coming up between this roll, this, this roll, and that roll, that coil. Okay, so it's right, this string is right in between of there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to stick it down through this hole, this hole right here. Then you're going to come around and stick it back. So it's going, it's coming around this way and going back down through there. Oops. Yeah, maybe you can just fix it to make sure that it thing. Now, so I'm attaching it. So it, it's kind of like making a figure eight kind of thing. It went, it went from here down. Now it's coming back around and going down through there. And so now I'm going to stick it up. I'm going to stick it up through here from the bottom. So I'm going to stick it up through here from the bottom. So between right where it started from in the first place. Oops. Make sure to hold on to it tight. And you got to keep pulling. And now it's going around this coil and back through here where it started from again. So it's going around this way and back up through there. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to repeat that process until it stays right in place. So I'm going, so the string is starting from here. Then I'm going down through here. So it's going around this, it went around this coil. Now it's coming around this way, down that, that way again. Mm-hmm. Come on, adjust your ass. Okay, good. And then it's coming back, it's coming back up through here, coming back up through here. So it went around this coil in the center. And then I'm going around this one in the back. It's going around this way and back up through here. Notice I'm not going in over here. I'm going in w between the... the the strings that have already been sewn there. Move yourself. Okay. So now, boom, boom, boom. Check it out. It's already wrapped. And notice you might have a little couple gaps. When you come back around with more string, you can always oh, you can always attach the strings so that they cover these spots. So I'm not worried about that. For the moment, I have a lot of little gaps here and there and everywhere. Anyway, so what you do from here is you wrap three times. And people will be like, but cat, in some videos you said five. No, three is good because it keeps the basket tight. So you wrap it three times. One, two, three, around itself, around the rope. Then you stick it right across. You stick the needle in right across from where you stopped. And then come back up where you stopped. And you shouldn't be above the rope, like the above the string, but below the string here, so that it can, it can all, oh, it can interlock. So one, two, three, and make sure the string is between this coil and that coil. Then you match up the needle and say, okay, well, it needs to go across to here, and then back up through here. Give it and notice I'm giving it a good pull. One, two, three. So the string comes up between the cinnamon roll. Now let me show you what happens when you don't put the, the, the string up between the cinnamon roll and you try to do this. You might be like, oh, it looks fine. No, it doesn't. On the back like this, no. See, you have that big old line coming between there. And it just doesn't look right. All right. Anyway, so continue. Actually, just unraveled one of the 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 things that I did by doing that. Anyway, so one, two, three. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to continue doing. Good morning. And this is Catriona, aka Cat here. And somebody asked me yesterday, how is it that you can make a square basket from the same rope coil basket technique? 
Now, I think when they said Indian basket weaving, somebody also asked me this. They meant like American Indian baskets. I can't be sure. It could be American Indian or it can be East Indians. I don't have a, a clue. I've known this since I was a kid and it's a technique that they teach us in school. Now, you notice that this this rope, it's a synthetic fiber. You can see that it looks kind of plastic. Uh, you can use pretty much any type of rope for this. In this case, I might wrap it with some wire just to hold the phrase together for a sec. It doesn't matter what type of wire, so no need to ask that question. And so when I'm holding it, I'll just, I'll just cut off the ends with the scissors. Just cut off the ends with the scissors. Ta-da! Goodbye. And then I'll take a lighter or a match or something and I'll just burn the edges. I really want, I don't want it to flare out too much because I noticed that little piece there was flaring out. So maybe I might want to push my my thing out up a little bit, my wire up. And I, I'm trying to keep them as tight as possible. I want, I don't want them to fray and I don't want them to come out. So I have both ends done like that. And once you're done with that, you can just take off the wire and you have a nice neat piece of rope ta-da boom nice nice and neat that's very neat okay so of course you're gonna need yarn doesn't matter what type of yarn really doesn't matter what type of yarn and you're gonna need to cut about four feet of yarn the first time okay so you're gonna cut about four feet of yarn so you need a scissors you need a big needle with a big eye check it out that needle has a very big eye and so I'm cutting about four feet of yarn. You need a rope, you need yarn, you need a needle with a big eye and a scissors. Now even if the yarn is still too big you can always twirl it like this. Kind of give it a little moisture. You gotta lick it before you stick it. <laughs> anyway, and just poke it through the hole. It'll go eventually. So ba -boom, boom. There you go. I have the needle threaded and I don't want to put both ends together. You're not putting both ends of the yarn together. What you're going to be doing is just leaving one end free. So one end is longer than the other one. I'm going to take up one of the ends of the ropes. And this rope is not very long so I'm going to have to make this tutorial very quick. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the rope in your left hand and it has to be pointing in the towards the right direction you take the yarn in the right hand and it has to be pointing towards the left direction so they're going to overlap each other like that so boom now you got to hold it as close to the tip as possible you hold the, the yarn as close to the, the burnt tip as possible and what you're going to do is you're going to spin in that direction away from yourself so you're going around the rope away from yourself in a, what is that clockwise motion and as you do that you want to push the yarn closer to the tip so that of course that burnt up ratchet ass edge is <laughs> not showing so you gotta wrap it and wrap it and wrap it and notice while you're wrapping this string here is staying under what you're wrapping it's not going like this it's not going like that. I shouldn't see any penises sticking up in the air, and I'm sorry for that reference, but that's the only thing I could think of at that point. <laughs> yes, anyway. And you're going to ask me, but when should they stop wrapping? I'm wrapping, I'm wrapping, I'm wrapping, I'm wrapping. I'm so annoying. I know. Anyway. So what I'm going to do now is just bend it to see if I can actually roll it in on itself. So I'm going to try to bend it to see if I can roll it in like a cinnamon roll so nope I can't do it quite yet so I need to make it as long as like so it can be like around here so so I roll it and the yarn has to kind of the, the roll has to overlap itself a little bit so I need to wrap that maybe about an inch more I can still do it so I'm rolling it in okay so there you go, I'm, I've rolled it in on itself. So now the, ye the yellow string on this coil is overlapping this part. Now here's the tricky part. 
you have to hold it in on itself as tight as possible. So notice I'm holding it like I'm pinching the cinnamon roll, a tiny little cinnamon roll in between my thumb and index finger. So now what I'm going to do from here is you notice that the little string is coming up between this roll, this, this roll, and that roll, that coil. Okay? So it's right, this string is right in between of there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to stick it down through this hole, this hole right here. Then you're going to come around and stick it back so it's going, it's coming around this way and going back down through there. Oops. Yeah, maybe you can just fix it to make sure that it thing. Now, so I'm attaching it. So it, it's kind of like making a figure eight kind of thing. It went, it went from here down. Now it's coming back around and going down through there. And so now I'm going to stick it up. I'm going to stick it up through here from the bottom. So I'm going to stick it up through here from the bottom. So between right where it started from in the first place. Oops. Make sure to hold on to it tight. And you got to keep pulling. And now it's going around this coil and back through here where it started from again. So it's going around this way and back up through there. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to repeat that process until it stays right in place. So I'm going, so the string is starting from here. Then I'm going down through here. So it's going around this, it went around this coil. Now it's coming around this way, down that, that way again. Mm-hmm. Come on, adjust your ass. Okay, good. And then it's coming back, it's coming back up through here. Coming back up through here. So it went around this coil in the center. And then I'm going around this one in the back. It's going around this way. I'm back up through here. Notice I'm not going in over here. I'm going in w between the... the the strings that have already been sewn there. Move yourself! Okay, so now boom, boom, boom. Check it out. It's already wrapped. And notice you might have a little couple gaps. When you come back around with more string, you can always, oh, you can always attach the strings so that they cover these spots. So I'm not worried about that. For the moment, I have a lot of little gaps here and there and everywhere. Anyway, so what you do from here is you wrap three times. And people will be like, but cat, in some videos you said five. No, three is good because it keeps the basket tight. So you wrap it three times. One, two, three, around itself, around the rope. Then you stick it right across. You stick the needle in right across from where you stopped. And then come back up where you stopped. And you shouldn't be above the rope, like the above the string, but below the string here, so that it can, it can all, oh, it can interlock. So one, two, three, and make sure the string is between this coil and that coil. Then you match up the needle and say, okay, well, it needs to go across to here, and then back up through here. Give it and notice I'm giving it a good pull. One, two, three. So the string comes up between the cinnamon roll. Now let me show you what happens when you don't put the, the, the string up between the cinnamon roll and you try to do this. You might be like, oh, it looks fine. No, it doesn't. On the back like this, no. See, you have that big old line coming between there. And it just doesn't look right. All right. Anyway, so continue. Actually, just unraveled one of the 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 things that I did by doing that. Anyway, so one, two, three. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to continue doing this until I get a circle that is a reasonable size because I need I know we're talking about how to make a square base but we have to first make a circle base in order to make that square base now I'm running out of string and you're probably wondering how do I attach a new piece of 
string and I'm going to show you right now so you leave the you take your needle out and you leave your other string hanging and you cut another piece of string that's about four to five feet long just like the first time and you gotta lick it before you stick it give it a couple twirls and stick it in your needle now there are different types of needles you have plastic ones anyway so I'm gonna cut off a little bit of that I don't really want too much maybe like two inches at most yeah now I'm gonna take that string and I'm gonna lay it down on the rope in the direction that the rope is extending to that's going right Then I'm gonna take the new string the end of the new string and put it down right next to that one in the same direction I'm gonna hold it really really close to where it stopped wrapping and I'm gonna start wrapping again in the same direction I'm gonna wrap away from myself and I'm wrapping both of those strings onto the new string so I don't want to wrap too much still like three times and squeeze it in you give it a squeeze poke it down, poke the needle down, ow, move yes so you want to force it into that point and you want it to stay right there you gotta hold it now of course your basket is going to have a couple little, little holes in it like I said I'm gonna try to fix that when I come back around and of course you have to attach it here a few times so that it stays in place so I'm just going over and over the spot like you know it's like a figure eight it just keep going around and around the, the, the coil so I go around this way I come back up through here and then I go down through here go down through here and then back up through here yes so I'm gonna continue and all these gaps and stuff I will hope to fix them when I come back around and I should be able to so now look it's getting more square so as I come here now I'm gonna make the other corner and then here I'm gonna make the other corner and when I come around I'll just have more of a defined square now this square is not going to have pointy pointy edges it's definitely going to have curved edges but at least it'll look like a square but the bigger you get the more defined the the points will be so I attached that there maybe I don't know how many times good bit of times <laughs> maybe five times anyway so you just continue wrapping three times and then you know yeah you just gotta force the, the coils I know you can see it it's definitely not round like this anymore so it's like square on this side and with two corners yes very important to just keep forcing it into the shape that you want it to be I forgot I said I need to attach it a couple of times to the spot where it's before it's bending so I would say maybe attach it really good three times to about to the same spot before you bend in it yes okay then then you can wrap it and you're wrapping gently you don't want to wrap too tight because you squeeze the coils and then you won't be able to get a nice neat corner <laughs> so I just I don't want to I don't want to squeeze don't want to squeeze too much squeezy squeezy no squeezy I'm just wrapping okay so let's see if I got enough to make a corner uh, I think so I have enough to make the corner here now it does take a little bit of bending sometimes you have to bend the coil itself to force it into the shape you want yes yes yeah, so you gotta hold it in place I think I need a couple more maybe like two it does the 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 yarn just has to be touching the part where you want to attach to yes so I'm, yeah it's getting it's there so I just need to hold it and I'm, I'm squeezing the shape I'm just squeezing it now I'm gonna attach it to this spot. and yes I'm gonna attach it quite a few times so that it stays in that spot 
Oh gosh, I'm back. Y'all must be tired of me right now. So I've come to my other corner and as you can see, it's not really a square. It's more like a rectangle shape. Well, eh, it could pass, you know. You get the idea, right? So I'm going to attach it a couple of times to this spot before I make the corner. So I'm attaching. Ow, ow, ow. What happened? My, uh-oh, my yarn broke. No, no. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Why? This is the issue you got to go through. Damn it. I really do need a new piece of thread. This is a not a good spot to... Okay, hold up. I'll be right back. Okay, well, let me tell you what I have to do in this case. Because I just started a new piece and uh, I really needed it started to bunch up and it was not doing a very good job going through the yarn so and now i need to unravel that <laughs> and take that off because it's not going to work for me and it's going to leave a big bulky thing uh -huh. cut off some of this and so i cut the yarn a little bit lower where the bunching wasn't happening it's it's not a big deal really so i just start again from here I'm just gonna wrap with my new piece yep you know all kind of ish like that happens that's okay you just cut it off and you start again I must say this video is gonna take forever to load on YouTube it's probably like maybe 10 15 minutes I'm hoping to cut it down to at least 10 minutes Hopefully, I don't know if that's going to work out for me. Anyway, so I have to attach it to this spot. No, no, I want the curve to be... See, I'll notice that this corner is going to be a little bit wider than that corner down there. Because of the way that it wraps around and around and around. So I might want to start my corner a little bit further back. So that's why I kind of started it a little bit further back. So it could at least be a little bit on the same track as this one. So anyway, from here, I said I was going to attach this a few times to hold it in place and make sure that it doesn't look that ratchet. Now I'm going to wrap. And remember you're wrapping gently, 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 gently. You don't want to wrap too much. Not too much. I hate the fact that these I'm wrapping on a part that I had actually added a new piece of string. I'm hating that because I don't know if these little strings are going to be seen. But I should be able to fix it when I come back around. So I, I want to force the coil into the corner shape. Yeah, so I should have four corners now. I need to wrap it a little bit more. So at least the coil can touch the old coil. So I should have a shape that looks kind of like this. So I want to I want to bend it. See, I'm kind of forcing, squeezing the coil into that shape. Ah. Yes, so now since it's touching, see, this this coil is touching that part, so now I can actually attach it. And I will have a somewhat square space. Yep. Okay, got to keep forcing it into that shape. Uh, yep, and I stick it up through here. And then I come down through here. So it's like I'm just making figure eights around and around and around and around these two coils right here that I'm trying to attach together. I make sure to squeeze them. And keep pointing out the points. Ta-da! So, see? Definitely looks more like a square well like a rectangle but that's okay and so when you come around to these points you gotta make sure to continue making it square as you go around so that's how you would make a square basket 